Have you ever wondered why some people have such strange obsessions? Fixations over certain people, ideas and things that only they themselves can comprehend. Part of my job is to find the answers to these questions. Take a key for example. A key can represent many meanings such as mystery, knowledge or power. It can also serve as a doorway to something of great significance. This reminds me of an interesting case that I worked on not too long ago. So what's your connection? I found it. So you're the finder? Yes, I'm the finder. Can you explain further? It was a few months ago, I was taking the garbage truck as usual. And when I opened my trash can, that's where I found it. I'm a seller. I'm... You can speak in I'm a Hutzu 有两位先生跑进我的店里来，其中一个就是死者。Do you know who could have done this? I don't know. Do you know why you are here? You're charged with breaking into a man's house. We've got an eyewitness who saw you. That's up to seven years in prison. Thank you for coming. Sure, no problem. So, is this really necessary? Standard procedure. <laughs> I understand. How can I help you, Detective? Tell me of a connection to the box. I used to own it. That is, until it went missing. Went missing? How? Well, one day I had it, the next day it was just gone. Kind of like it got stolen. Hmm, strange. Sinsang, you can tell me your name and your job. Tingtam 那麼怎麼樣?我們相信這個是跟一單兇殺案有關。For some reason, I knew it was going to be an unusual case. The request itself was unusual to begin with. One box, six suspects, one dead man. All somehow connected. One of them has to be the killer. The question is, who? Looks like a blunt hit to the back of the victim's head with a hammer. Take this to the lab and process it. So you found your husband this morning after coming home from a late night at work? Yes. The place is strangely neat and tidy. Nothing seems to be stolen.
When was this taken? Not long after we moved in. Did anything move around there? Could your husband could have moved anything? No. I don't think so. Why? There's something missing here. That's the box my husband bought some time ago. You think the box is connected to this? Come to think of it, there was someone who broke into the house just last week. How you escaped? Yes. Why did you break into the house? Is it because of this? The box? Or is it something more? I don't know what you're talking about. How's the investigation? Any leads on a suspect? We are working on it. So, can you tell me more about the box? How would you describe it? I don't know how to explain it. It's very unique, very mysterious looking. You know it's special, just from the look of it. And it also has a lock that requires a key to open it, but unfortunately, I couldn't find the key. If it's so special, why did you sell it? I guess it's because I need money that time. But once I found out its value, it was too late. So I had bought it. You can explain 你是怎樣賣出那個盒子的嗎? 那天有兩位先生跑進我的店裡來其中一個就是那個死者當那個死者走進我的店裡的時候他只是想要買幾個星期前讓你青年賣給我那個盒子然後我覺得奇怪我問他你怎麼知道這個盒子他靜靜的沒有說話他付了很多的錢要買這個盒子我明白然後呢當死者正在付錢的時候另外有一個衣著穿得很得體的先生走進我的店裡來那位先生也是要買這個盒子他出的價錢更加高要買這個盒子不過
to understand and to know the suspects. It's fascinating sometimes how much you can learn about a person just by observing, what they're like, what they do, who they really are. But the most important question was, who could be the murderer? Is there something you're not telling me? According to police records, you've got a lot of cases against you. Public displays of violence, aggression, aggravated assault, and now attempted burglary. It seems you have a history of crime. Tang Li Gang Gong, the Hoti Hong Tong Yu. Oh my Tong Yu Koi. Oi Zek Ting Tau Yim Koi. I find it strange that you're wearing a scarf in such a warm room on such a hot day. Dim Gai Le? Do you know what happens to repeat offenders? It's not seven years in prison. It's 20 years in prison. That's a very long time. Unless a key witness conveniently disappears. Could you remove the scarf around your neck? Was your husband an abusive man? Yes, he was. Is that why you took so long to report the murder? Did you know that a person who identified you and led us to you was the victim? He was due to testify in court. Perhaps you already knew that. I don't know what they're talking about. Silencing the witness would be a good way of avoiding jail time. Don't you agree? Thank you for coming in again. Sure, no problem. So, have you found the killer? We're finalizing the results of the fingerprints on a murder weapon. By the way, do you know that we have your friend in custody? He's being arrested for an alleged burglary. So? Just because I know him doesn't mean that I have anything to do with him. Is that so? Arrest him! Wait, wait, what, what are you doing? You are being arrested for the murder of the victim. What's going on? We have proof that you are the killer. Wait, wait, okay, wait. Okay, I, 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 I mean that I broke into the man's house. And, and, and it was a few nights ago. Uh, what I remember is there's, there's body on the floor and there's, there's blood and... Oh yeah, there's a hammer. Uh, there's, there's a hammer next to the body. The killer must have used it to kill him. Oh really? Yes, I just want to steal the box. I didn't kill him. It doesn't matter now because your prints are on the murder weapon. Take him away. Wait, no, no, I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Yes, thank you so much, Ben. I'm great. Thank you. You too? Thanks. Hello. 
Yeah. Got it. All right, I'm on my way. Good to see you again. Congratulations, detective. Job well done. The task was strange but simple. Steal the box, kill the owner, and pin the murder on one of the five different individuals who were somehow connected to the crime. Divert all the attention to the murder and away from the missing box. Those were the instructions. So how did you do it? Standard procedure. It was just a matter of investigating, studying, and anticipating the target. Good evening, sir. I'm here to talk to you about your break-in. Oh, yes. Please come in. So, Detective, how can I help you? Well, basically... Are you thirsty? Let me get you a drink. Yes, please. So, why the kid? Simply because he was the easiest choice. The wife was having an affair. It comes as no surprise because he was an abusive husband. There were bruises on her body. However, she has an alibi, and an alibi is a lover. The burglar? He was already caught by the police before I could kill the man. Besides, I couldn't prove that he broke into the house. As for the businessman, he was at an event that he kept mentioning about. Hundreds of his colleagues could testify to his innocence. So where does that leave us? The finder. You see, I knew what he was doing. I knew he was planning to steal the antique box. So on the night when the finder would bring to the owner's house, I struck first. I've got to find his confession for breaking to the house. And to close the case, all I needed was his fingerprints on the murder weapon. So, you can't say how you did it? We all have our own secrets. True. Payment in cash as requested. The box. And the key. Oh. 
Oh, you didn't open it now, did you? Don't worry, I always keep my word. I like that. I'll be inside. And there he goes, disappearing to the crowd, never to be heard from again. If there's something I regret about this case, it was not asking what is inside the box. Everyone has their own obsessions. Everything has its own value. But what is worth killing for?